Hi everyone and uh, welcome to Holy Hammer Ironworks. Uh, my name is Harold Hilborn and I'd like to give you a shop tour. So let me grab the camera here. And we'll go in and have a look around. So when you first come in, um, this is the metal saw and um, the uh, material will come in through the door where I was standing at and uh, run into the saw here and uh, get cut. And from there, we go this way. Um, on this side here, we have all the tool cabinets and toolboxes and plasma cutter there. It's a hypotherm uh, 60. Um, right here, we have the my XMT 304 with a S74 feeder. Um, we go over here, we have the infamous grinder tree. Um, behind that right there, we have an angle roll. Actually, it's a ring roller. And here we have the Sinker Wave 351. And on top of it is a VersaTig, which uh, have three different types of TIG torches hooked up to it, um, which allows me to switch. Um, I have one aluminum dedicated, one standard, and then one specialty torch. And on top of that, I have a pulser to be able to run pulse TIG. Um, back up a little bit. This is uh, a five foot by five foot weld sail platen table, um, which I do all of my work on primarily. So if we move down this way, um, we come into the, the forging area. Um, give you a pan around here first. And we'll look at everything. Um, double horned uh, North German anvil. Um, look at leg vices, cone mandrel. This is uh, my main propane forge. I built this forge here, but I bought a uh, habanero burner from uh, Chili Forge and uh, works really well um, for a single burner. Um, I can get up, no problem, get up to 2300 degrees in it. Um, my coal forge, and if you've seen the video on this, um, this has the, this garage, which is 25 by 30, had a wood stove in it at one time, and that's a six inch flue. And it's professionally installed stainless steel piping on it above the ceiling. And there was no way that I was going to uh, tear that out and uh, put in a, uh, a bigger pipe and everything in here because I don't know how long I'll be in this shop for. I have dreams of getting out and getting into a bigger shop someday, but who knows. But what I did to solve that problem is that flu um, fan. And it, it really does a pretty good job. It does get a little smoky in here, but it, it does an adequate job of getting the smoke out of here. So we can go down there, look down here. Another 480 pound anvil. Um, there's another one there, a couple more back over there. Um, you get here, this is uh, the bench. Uh, this collects all my blacksmithing apparatus. Um, when, you, when you're in a small shop, it's really kind of hard to keep things neat and organized. I do the best I can. Um, but it is what it is. I'm happy to have this space. Um, here we go to uh, a 25-ton uh, hydraulic press. It's uh, inner pack. Um, I do all my frying pan blanks in it and um, forming. Um, if you look up here on the shelf, I have a couple of press brake dies, uh, swedge off-road, swag off-road, um, all kinds of blanks for my projects. And uh, in old Homer here is my QAQC guy. He does a good job. And behind Homer 
is uh, my air compressor. Seven and a half horse, seven horse, 80 gallon. Um, and then I keep all my TIG rod in that bucket over there. So as we work our way this way, um, we come to uh, my fly press. Um, it's a P5 and I uh, use it a lot for a lot of different things. Um, honestly, I wish I would have got a six, but um, I was told this would be adequate for what I did. And I've, I have found that I would have liked something a little bit bigger. Um, down there, track torch and uh, tooling. And then we have our my Seha 55 kg power hammer. Um, this is uh, before Say Mac. Got this. This hammer came from Tom Clark when he was alive, and uh, can't say enough good things about this thing. This thing is a money maker. And uh, as we move along this way, we have uh, the grinding area. Um, have a Broadbeck grinder, an Ellis grinder, a Grizzly, and a Harbor Freight wood grinder. And that Harbor Freight grinder works really well. I've not had a problem with it at all. Um, over here, we have oxyacetylene and uh, treadle torch, bench grinder. Oop. Gotta watch my step in here. Right here, we have a jet uh, variable speed um, bandsaw. This will do wood and steel. Slows down enough to be able to do steel on it by changing the belt speed. Uh, a buffer. Then we come into here. We have a, a small drill press. We have a mill, which I it's basically just a big drill press. I do. It's so what I mostly do is use it for drilling. Um, we come over here. We have a, a fifty-five ton. Um, Iron worker. Um, this one's from Cleveland Tool, but it's actually made by Edwards. Um, this thing, when I first started out in uh, 2007 with my business, this was one of the first things I bought. And uh, for punching spearheads on picket fences, uh, I, I've just used this thing, punching holes. It'll shear half inch plate, it'll punch a 1 and 16th hole and 5 eighths plate. Um, just, that was a real money maker. That's all I can say about that. Um, I have a slip roll here, which is a 18 gauge by, um, 36 inch slip roll. And, uh, it can, uh, be operated by hand or can pull that off and I can put a, uh, Harbor Freight pipe threading motor on it and uh, run a power roll, also very handy. Um, this time of year, um, you couldn't get by without that little baby there. A torpedo heater by DeWalt. Back there in the corner on the ground, I got a, a swag off-road um, pyramid bender, and I got a bunch of dies for that, for rolling tubing and pipe. Um, this drill press here, it's dedicated just for countersinking. Um, then we get into this here is, uh, my Hossfeld bender. Another thing that I've just, I can't say enough. I've made a lot of money with this thing. You got Santa there in the corner and, uh, these, that's all the tooling for the Hossfeld. Um, not much I can't do with that. And uh, then we're, we're back here to uh, the uh, bandsaw again. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's pretty tight in here, but I'm pretty happy to have the space. Um, well, Take you back outside here. Turn it around. 
<clears throat> I'd just like to say thanks for taking the time to take a shop tour.